Aloha, we're Team Rose, Hawaii's first and only rover team, and I'm proud to present the 2023 Rose Rover. This year, our team of 40 members have been working hard to implement the lessons learned from last year's design to bring you this year's Rose Rover. The mechanical team has learned a lot from last year, and we have completely redesigned and manufactured our new rover. It consists of four main subsystems, the aluminum chassis, rocker bogey suspension, five degree of freedom arm, and vice grip end effector. The suspension's track width is larger than the wheelbase, which allows our rover to turn with ease. To ensure our rover can traverse the rocky and sandy terrain, we have developed 3D printable wheels featuring a honeycomb spoke design and grousers. This allows elastic deformation, which improves traction on rocky and sandy surfaces. Our rocker bogey design features a damper connected to the rocker to reduce shock while driving over obstacles. The wheel assemblies in the bogey feature a double wishbone suspension system to reduce shock and ensure traction while driving over obstacles. A 360-degree gimbal camera mounted to the antenna allows the operator to view the rover's immediate surroundings. Our 5-degree of freedom arm houses most of the motors in the shoulder, reducing mass in the arm while supplying sufficient torque to lift objects up to 5 kilograms. Customized battery packs will be manufactured utilizing lithium-ion cells. Additionally, power distribution boards will be designed to supply 12 and 5 volt rails for onboard electronics. Finally, an electronic kill switch will be readily available at the exterior of the rover for emergency situations. Taking influence from last year's design, Team Rose implements a sturdy aluminum 5 degree of freedom arm, capable of both performing missions reliably and with low risk. In order to meet the differing requirements of each mission, we've implemented a modular arm with two end effectors, catered to the needs of their missions. The vice grip end effector's main feature is as a platform for modular attachments, including collecting soil with excavator buckets, flexio grip pads for manipulating controls, and an allen key that takes advantage of the rotating lead screw. The Wormen wheel end effector features a tried and tested method of actuation, with a significantly more powerful motor, inset grip pattern, and wide arcuate traversal allows for secure handling of containers and heavy rocks. With ROS on the movement motion planning framework, the arm and end effector can be controlled to designated go poses using inverse kinematics to calculate the motion of each individual joint. The payload system was designed for our science mission, which is split into three different housings for three different liquid assays. The funnel will separate the soil into three test tubes, where the blue tubing will distribute the soil into its respective test tube. The housings are fully enclosed to contain any liquid chemicals from spilling and reduce the amount of sunlight from altering the result. Three pre-filled liquid assays will be used and viewed with a Raspberry Pi camera such that the operator can interpret the results. An ethidium bromide solution with a UV light will be utilized to identify the presence or absence of nucleic acid. The Kamasi stain will be used to identify the presence or absence of proteins. And a distilled vinegar solution with magnets will be used to identify the presence or absence of minerals and inorganics. From the video footage, we'll be able to draw a conclusion and make a hypothesis which sample is extinct, extant, or absence of life. The guidance, navigation, and control team is responsible for all software and communications both onboard the rover and the ground station. Unlike last year, the GNC team now leverages Docker containerization for an operator-friendly, modular approach to mission-ready and configurable software. We also use a gigabit Ethernet switch so our internal communications can handle high-capacity data more reliably. Our autonomous navigation stack is powered by Ross Melodic. A Z Mini provides point cloud data from two rectified stereo cameras as well as integrated visual odometry. We also use a ZF9R with an extended Kalman filter to provide our rover with high resolution global localization data. For obstacle detection, we utilize the package RTABMAP for dense mapping and MoveBase for path planning. Our gate detection makes use of the Arico Detect package. Our ground station user interface team has built a web application out of React and Node.js to support the operator during all phases of the competition. The app is able to control the teleoperation of the mobile base and the arm, as well as receive live video feeds and sensor data from our onboard sensors. The app is also designed for fine-grained monitoring of all parts of the rover system, including, but not limited to communications, sensing hardware, and controls. This year, Team Rose has taken a more systems engineering-based approach for mission competence. We are undergoing the verification and validation process to ensure that our rover system has the correct designs to complete all objectives for each mission. While we are a new team, we have participated in rigorous design reviews and testing, and we are confident in our abilities to compete at the 2023 University Rover Challenge. Mahalo!